Orlando, no. it is great to see you. Uh, thank Amen. you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to see you, Jimmy. Um, these these un un surreal and un new circumstances. It really is. Uh, uh, I'm happy to, uh, that you're safe. Uh, how, how have you, how is life in the quarantine? Uh, to be honest, it's been, so I was working a lot and I've, I found some real solace, some real kind of, I think it's a reset. Everyone feels like it's a reset that perhaps we all needed the chance to reflect on what's important and, 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 and what we've been doing in the, and I just hope that, um, you know, we can keep that, that, that thinking, um, can kind of continue on past and through once there are vaccines in place and people want to go about their lives. I understand it's like just, I mean, I feel incredibly blessed. Obviously you're in New York and there are people who probably for yeah. weeks on end couldn't even get out of their apartments. Right. And just with, oh. you know, trying to, yeah. so, um, I've been, um, I've been feeling very grateful. Obviously I have a, a little baby girl on the way. We got to talk about that. I'm so, uh, I, I'm so excited for you to, uh, to have a baby girl. I have two girls. I, I, that's, it's amazing. Well, you'll have to tell me, you'll have to tell me all about it. I mean, I'm so excited to be, um, to have a little daddy's girl. I hope I have a little, I mean, I hope she's yeah, going to love me as much as I love her. I'm like, but that, that, that daddy girl thing and, you know, um, uh, that love of your life feeling, I think, is is right around there, you know? It's, and, yeah, it's, um, it's exactly what everyone tells you. And so uh, no spoilers for me, but it's like it really is love at first sight and then just doesn't end. And it's just like it's the best thing in the world. And to just even watch them grow up and every little thing, it's just like it's yeah. so cute. I mean, boys cute too. Sons are great. Obviously, you know that. They're great. But... Girls, but a nine-year-old boy, yeah. So you get little. His sister, the first, he's he's got a couple of other brothers, but this is his first sister, so it's kind of he's excited too. So it's exciting times. Oh, it's 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 yeah. Is the uh, is that your work behind you, or is that your your son's <laughs> Lego work? <laughs> yeah. This is hours of quarantine. <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> those are Legos. Um, those are Legos. I actually found it kind of reassuring, and uh, obviously. Actually, me and, and Flynn started with this big silver Porsche up here. Yeah. And I got so into it. Um, he would like go, Dad, I'm going to go to bed. I'm like, just, just another 15 minutes. <laughs> let me stay up. Please let me stay up a little the next longer. Page. We want to open the next page. You're my bag. dad. Yeah. You can stay um, up as long as you like. So, so, what's yeah, the, what's the green one up there? Like, what's the green one on the top corner there? That's, that's a, a Defender 90. A Land Rover Defender 90. I didn't even know they always, made these Legos. Oh, man. Neither did I. And now nothing's changed. I mean, now I'm just like... There's another Porsche. There's like a, I mean, like this is a fastback 1967. I mean, you know, it's just fun. It's just, it's just hours of fun. Yeah. But um, uh, well, as we were saying before, you were you were filming Carnival Row. I think that was the last time you were in studio with us, uh, yeah. filming your show Carnival Row. Congrats, you got three Emmy nominations, bud. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, the, 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 everyone's worked worked so hard on that show. It was. The first season was was not straightforward in so many ways, but I think we really kind of brought an interesting story to the screen. So I'm happy that you know we're we're, we're going back to finish. Yeah, congrats on the uh, on the noms. Uh, uh, I wanted to talk to you about something because we always talk about giving back and what you know. And we were talking yeah. right before we started this interview, but you do a lot of work with UNICEF. Uh, yeah. well, what, what, what's your connection with with UNICEF? It's been about 10 years um, or more actually, maybe 12, um, but I've, I've done, I was trying to do basically one trip every, field trip every year just to sort of witness really firsthand the work that they do in the field to save the lives of women and children in the most desperate circumstances. So, and, I, and, and then what we will do is video document it and obviously it's an NGO, so we're trying to put, put the work messaging out to hopefully people to support because, you know, obviously, the world is suffering from this global pandemic and um you know and and when we look at the way we feel at home you kind of imagine that and 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 then times it by 10 or even more unicef's on the ground there right now all over the world you know trying to get ppa equipment to people you know for vaccination you know they, uh, you know there are vaccinations outside i mean water is a, is, is a huge killer, um, you know, so they need to inoculate for, for children under the age of two. Diarrhea is a huge killer. There are so many huge issues. So the, and then you add that COVID element on top. So it's something that um, is very packed close to my heart, you know, to see these children and I've worked with them so many times. And, you know, um, they're always looking for 
for support you know unicef's always looking for that support because it's obviously it's it's so challenging at home but it's also you know having the foresight that we are a global community we are a, we are a global community and, and when one part of that community is suffering the whole the whole suffers and, and just kind of grappling with that idea is sometimes challenging but it's it's something that's so you know amazing when you see it and well thanks so, so much for uh, for talking about it and getting people thanks for asking about it. honestly it's and I've, I've been watching your show a little bit and it's great to see that you guys are kind of highlighting people's um, causes because it's something that you know we all want to have yeah have something that we can do to give back in some way that's the least we can do, right? Uh, uh -huh.